translatable is this to use on social media? Um, it's slightly different. Traditional media, <coughs> which people, which social media people call it legacy media, which has a kind of slightly, you know, you're dying, you like all you traditional media types. Um, the, the traditional media isn't dying as quickly as was expected. You know, social media has been around for 20 years now. And um, I noticed that uh, on my Twitter feed, it says it, there's a feature called tweets in the news, which means that the people who run Twitter still feel flattered when the mainstream news media reports something that's been started as a tweet. The um, social media use the real media as vindication. They think they've really hit something when it, when it gets into the, when it's reported. Like Donald Trump's tweets now get into the mainstream media and started on Twitter. Um, and sometimes the mainstream media takes tweets and turns them into stories or presents them into stories. And that, that, is, that is cheating a bit. But the, um, the thing about social media is it's, um, it's sort of like a sea, isn't it? It's sort of, wash, it's a, we're awash with social media stuff. And you can't tell whether it's true or false, whether it's interesting or bad. And it's, it's a bit like, I would say that just because, just because there's a six billion people on Facebook or however many it is, that doesn't mean that they're going to write you, that they're all going to read your post. You know, nothing like it. A really, really small number will actually yeah. read what you write. I, th I think the mainstream media has still got a bit more authority because yeah, it has. just about anybody on social media can have a brain fart, yeah. well, pardon my French, uh, I put it down there, and anybody and their dog can put it down. Yeah. And it's, uh, it gets a bit noisy. Yeah, because mainstream me media is still curated. I mean, some, some journalist has actually gone through the process of thinking, yeah, I think this is a credible source, and I think this is interesting information, and Somebody we're going to write a story about it. Well. And what? Somebody's done, around being done some editing on it as well. Yeah. have got an editor who's okay it and checking it. Yeah. Whereas with social media, everybody can put down any kind of like, whatever comes into head of the time. Yeah. Mm. I, I think that's right. I think there is a, an issue in mainstream media. Uh, I don't know if you went to the thing at um, know, Meet the Press or whatever it was a few months back. And one of the questions I asked the guy from the Telegraph there, because he was alluding to it, was to, to what you know, to what extent are they chasing social media hits with their mainstream article? Mm. And that's exactly one of their metrics there. So there, I would contend that the quality of mainstream press, even in the you know the broadsheets, the quality thing, has dropped with the introduction yeah. of uh, social media. And their headlines are getting more and more odd yeah. towards the edge of the envelope. Yeah, this is this is thing called clickbait, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, so Which is grossly misleading headlines that are only there so that you'll click. Yeah. I think they have a real challenge. I mean, Jimmy Wales, who set up Wikipedia, is now starting his own newspaper to try and overcome it to, to get through to the truth. Yeah. Which is an interesting mm. <coughs> Right. Well, I think I'd better stop. Thank you very much. You. Before we go, I'll tell you about... Uh... <laughs> Sorry. I was just going to ask for some testimonials. Testimonials, yes. Who would like to say nice things into this camera for, uh, for this gentleman? Come on. I'll go outside if you like. <laughs> Mm. Good night.